All right, so this video looks a little bit different because I'm going to be using the old fashioned, and this one actually is pretty old, old fashioned graphing calculator instead of the app. So go to y equals and then negative x is cubed, then minus 9x squared plus 50x and plus a 40. Now since it has x cubed, that means that I'm looking for three solutions. So first I'm going to go to zoom number six is standard and see if we could see three times when it hits the x-axis. So I only see two times. So what I'm going to do is widen the window and I'm just going to guess maybe x is a somewhere between negative 50 and positive 50. And then one, two. Oh, so it looks like there's actually three solutions in here. All right, so to find this one, we go to second calculate, and then the zero, and then you just have to pick something on the left. Well, I know over here is negative 30, so maybe from negative 20 until negative five. And then my guess, I don't know what to guess, so I'm just gonna leave x equals negative five and hit enter. And then it says that one answer is 12, a negative 12.691. So with the old fashioned calculator, you would just repeat that and go, now I'm gonna look for the zero that's in the middle. That one looks like it's pretty close to zero. So I'm gonna go from like negative four to a positive one. And then my guess is zero. And then there's the second answer, negative 0.715. And then you would just repeat that for the third answer. So now I'm gonna switch over to the app and show you how to do it on Desmos. Okay, so now we're going to use the Desmos to find the roots of this polynomial. So when I did it on the graphing calculator, I saw that it basically went down like this and then back up like this, and then down like this. So basically we're looking for these three intersection points. And it wasn't too much work with the calculator, but I'll show you how much faster and easier it is with Desmos. So if you go to Desmos, and let me just clear out this old problem, and then type in the new one, y equals, then there's negative x is cubed, and this a to the b, that gives you the exponent and then move to the right and go minus 9x squared the little a squared gives you the squared part and plus 50x and plus a 40. Okay so then I can just concentrate on the graph and then I can see there's three solutions. And then with Desmos, all you need to do is basically just touch it at that point, and it gives us the negative 12.691, which is what the TI-84 gave. And then this one is negative 0.715, and then 4.407. So there's not really any work to show with this one. I just need to go back to this and then so you can either write out your answers just as x equals each one or you could say basically like labeling the graph x equals negative 12.691 is this one this one right here is x equals the negative 0.715 and then this one is x equals 4.407.